But if you want to walk off some of that food, we have some uh, great activities. Uh, we have a registration table, and they have a shuttle that will take you to some literacy programs, and also a huge garden that will be real interesting for you to check out. So I'll keep you guys up to date on this information. But again, remember, after lunch, we have more information, more sessions, more things for you to do. Again, thank you for hanging out. Blight Boot Camp. All right. Okay. Where's my my? Okay, we're gonna put some more music on. Mary Sheffield to to say a, a quick hi to all the residents that have come out to hang out in your community. Good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to come by, uh, of course, welcome you all. Uh, district 5, this is the district that you all live in. I hope that you all live in this area. Central High School is in District 5. Uh, again, I'm Councilwoman Mary Sheffield. I represent this district on the Detroit City Council. Uh, glad to be here. Just want to make sure you all know that if you ever need my assistance for anything as it relates to quality of life issues within your neighborhood, Please feel free, do not hesitate to reach out to my office. Even though the Department of Neighborhoods through the mayor's office usually navigates blight and demolition and issues of that sort, my office is always available to uh, assist you all. So please feel free to reach out. Again, I'm Council Member Mary Sheffield. My district office, if you ever want to reach me, is at the Williams Walker Recreation Center and also the Butzel Family Center as well too. God bless you all. Take in all this great information and enjoy your day. Your community to be 
uh, buildings for fun activities and such as camp programs, various programs, uh, events, uh, lifestyle, educational programs that may lead to uh, career changes, professions, trades, um, a cleaner street, a safer street, better sidewalks. Uh, why are you needed? Um, to spur the change, um, to be involved, to be more proactive, uh, to take ownership, and uh, they had indicated that everybody has talents and gifts, and everybody has something to contribute, and they had indicated that you just don't think about your particular property, your particular house, they say you have to think beyond that. You have to think about this is my block. This is my neighborhood and this is my community. And that concludes all the suggestions that we have.